What's going on viewers? Welcome to Still Current Anime. This is an anime review for Tokyo Ghoul Episode 4, which I'm pretty much classifying as either Shoes Mindfuck or The Ghoul Restaurant. Pretty much Ghoul Restaurant. As you guys know, Tokyo Ghoul is a brand new summer 2014 anime, and I gotta say, it's pretty great. It pretty much focuses on psychological and horror, and also supernatural and a bunch of other stuff, but still mainly psychological and horror. And as you guys know with the horror genre, we don't have that many truly great horror anime. And I gotta say, it is true. The horror genre for anime is one of the hardest genre to get right, because everything can go wrong. And I'm not just talking about gore. This, this show does have a lot of gore, but still, it has a lot of good horror aspects to the actual episodes, including episodes 1 through 3. From 1 through 3, we pretty much focused on the main character, protagonist, Kaneki, sorry if I'm not pronouncing that right, and his mental breakdown after what happened with Riz, and we ended up turning him to a half cool, half human. I gotta say, those episodes were really great and well done, and episode 4 is no slouch. Episode 4 pretty much picks up right where episode 3 left off and it was introduced in the character known as Shu who is pretty much one crazy and fucked up ghoul. Pretty much what he's shown throughout the episode is mainly his character development or pretty much what the character shows off to different people. For the main protagonist, he tries to be like a friend and act all classy, but then mid-range, about almost near the end of the episode, we see that he is pretty much, I think it was like M.M., that name is by that, for the ghoul restaurant, and he trapped the dude, I gotta say was messed up. But what was even more messed up is when he killed Taro at the very end of the episode and pretty much wanted to declare that Kaneki was his and his alone. Obviously this guy has some major issues. I don't know what's going to happen in the end because I did not read the manga or light novel or whatever it is for this actual anime and I gotta say I am very excited to see what happens in further episodes with the protagonist and also for Shu since he is a messed up individual. Other than that guys, what did you guys think of the episode? Did you like it? Did you dislike it? Other than that guys, till next time guys, peace out, have a great day and I'll see you later. Bye.